just kidding but now I've got your attention new into stock we have the Vauxhall Corsa 1.4 IE Ecoflex Excite it's a three door it's 2014 on a 64 plate and it has done just over 19,800 miles I think about 19,806 miles it's two registered owners it's uh, MOT till the 29th of December 2018 and uh, it's only 30 pounds a year road tax also the fuel economy urban 42.8 extra urban is 65.7 and uh, combined is 55.7 not 60 time of 13.2 seconds and a top speed of 109 miles per hour out of an 89 brake horsepower engine lovely car finished in sovereign silver with grey cloth uh, upholstery and uh, alloy wheels it's got uh, a full service history which I'll just tell you about and I'll just take you for a ride in it now. Boiling in the UK so first job air conditioning. Right uh, car's got full service history and here we go. First service 10th of December 2016 at 10,200 miles at a &S Autos and then the next service 23rd of the 12th 2017 at 16,152 I'm pretty sure they just do this to wind me up service uh, administrators but uh, there we go a &S Autos again one job can't even get the stamp the right way up really really annoying um, you know if, if you can't be bothered doing your job, go and find another job. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty simple. So, full service history. I'll just take you for a ride in it now. Great specification, this little car as well. The aircon is working excellently. Okay, so first of all, while I'm just doing a few miles an hour, we've got a height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel. We've got the cruise control on the left there. Audio and telephone controls on the right. The instrument cluster, left hand side rev counter. Then you have your trip computer in the center there and uh, your speedo on the right, fuel gauge top left and uh, coolant temperature gauge top right. We've also got, which um, I should have really demonstrated before, but we've got a city power steering switch just there which makes the steering as you, you can move it around with your finger. So that's great for parking um, or manoeuvring in the city, hence the name. And avoiding people who pull out in front of you when they shouldn't do. The multimedia unit is uh, rather excellent as well. It um, includes Bluetooth hands-free and also Bluetooth audio streaming so uh, and you can also use different apps on it which oh, turn that down so from there that's the radio I've already paired my phone to it and if you click on source and then onto Bluetooth There you go. That's showing it's playing a, a record on my from my phone through this uh, audio unit. I'll just turn it up to prove it. Just wind it up there. Right. So we'll just turn it up. So there you go, that's playing through uh, 
my iPhone tunes are playing through the, the system. We'll just go back to home here, and then you've also got telephone, which uh, if I click there, it's showing my phone as well. So nice car to drive, it's pretty quiet, very smooth. I think that chap's going a little bit fast. But uh, this weather brings them all out. I've got a funny feeling he's going to do something stupid as soon as he can as well, so I'll try and stay well clear of him. Got to be honest, he looks like a tosser. And I was right. Just undertaken that car. Uh, yep, undertaken him, then pulled out in front. Guy in a hurry. So, sovereign silver metallic, grey cloth, grey cloth butt seat bolsters, and a pattern centre panel. Um, we've got electric windows here and also electric door mirrors. And after all his uh, silly overtaking manoeuvres, he's not got very far, has he? Let's just see what he does here at the roundabout. trying to find an accident. Five speed gearbox. We've got folding rear seats, a rear load cover, rear wash wipe and uh, in the front here we've got this kind of metallic grey inset to the dashboard. Quite sparkly, it looks lovely. Test the cruise control in a second when we get on the motorway. We've had hold-ups around the motorway around here, so uh, I'll probably just go around the roundabout and check the motorway's clear before I uh, go down it. But uh, height adjustable seat as well, and I must say they're, they're very comfortable. check right and left yep that door mirrors working look it over to the left one yep that's working too we've got heated seats air conditioning it's so it's gray little spec this car down the motorway before I actually uh, get on it and it's looking clear so I'll take my chances and then we can test the cruise control. Make a great first car this. It, it, it is a 1.4 but uh, I'm pretty sure the insurance won't be too bad. And it's a, a nice safe little car for a first time driver, plenty of airbags, if uh, you've got children and child seats there are isofix seats in the back there as well so proper anchor points for you, plenty of room Fifth gear.
so that screws on. We'll just increase it to 70. Well, that's gone too far. So 70 miles an hour, we're doing 3,000 revs. Resume back up. Pretty comfortable on the motorway at cruising speed. Reasonably quiet as well. No tyre noise to speak of, no wind noise. It's only a short wheelbase, so you've got to expect it's a little bit bouncier. But uh, again, nothing too bad. And down here at the bottom, you've got USB and auxiliary in, plugs, you've got a power socket, cup holders, another cup holder back here proper handbrake got auto headlights left hand side you have your menu there for there you go remaining oil life and your uh, trip computer just check the wipers me six jets <laughs> over and above um, that needs a new wiper on the left hand side there so I must remember to uh, get that in the workshop and get it changed not clearing the screen properly if you're gonna buy this car off us and you've watched this video Please make sure you remind me to do that. Great steering there, I'm going around a corner quite sharply. I could feel my camera bags in the, the back slide across. Just a reset button in the end there. Nice light clutch, nice gearbox, great little second car or uh, first car for a, a, a new driver I would say. That's with the uh, city steering on. We're just behind the slowest driver in the world here with his bike on the back. <laughs> I can't really show you the car going around these bends, but it's uh, it is a, a, a joy to drive. I've just reset the trip computer and uh, it had been ticking over at the garage just while Lance washed it and um, it had knocked the fuel economy right down but now already it's shot up to 39.3 
just take you to the home screen there. So you've got audio, gallery, phone, apps and settings. I'll show you how to pair your mobile to the Bluetooth system when we get back and also how to stream audio and also how to delete a phone should you have one that uh, you've got the previous owners or, or you've got a new phone. something coming on the wrong side of the road around this bend. Oh, clear. So, it's one I take it easy round. There you go, great steering. Lovely sporty little feel to this car. And uh, I suppose a, a bit of street cred as well if you younger. Tinted windows. So the, the heated seat switches, where are they? There you go, heated seats. Global central lock-in. Heated seat for the passenger side. City steering. Just have to have a look at that switch in a second. might be able to pick up a, a slight uh, whir on the cameras or on the audio here. I've had to have the aircon on quite uh, strong as if I don't these GoPros overheat and just switch off. Especially the one that's uh, in the windscreen there. Very nice gear change.
are back at the garage. Just put the aircon on full blast. Cool these cameras down a minute. Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the uh, Bluetooth system in this uh, Vauxhall Corsa. Uh, into settings, radio settings, connection settings. So we go to connection settings, Bluetooth settings, Bluetooth device list. Barry's iPhone 10, delete. Do you really want to delete the selected phone? Yes. That's it, it's gone. But the screen before there, if for any reason you can't, uh, your, your phone won't pick up the uh, Bluetooth audio system, just go into Bluetooth settings and check discoverable is uh, on and not switched to off. So discoverable. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair your mobile to uh, the Bluetooth system in this Vauxhall Corsa. Uh, first of all, make sure Bluetooth is on. Then we go, there's two ways, if you click on phone, there's no phone connected, do you want to connect Bluetooth phone? That's if there's no phones in already, But so we'll go with that one, yes. No device paired, search Bluetooth devices. It's, it actually says no device found, but it's searching device there, so. Barry's iPhone 10. It, it is actually very faint. It's, it looks like it's greyed out, but we'll click on it. Vauxhall, oops. Bluetooth pairing request, 675112. Attempting to connect, 675112. So that's definitely the right one, yes and yes. Allow contacts and favourites to sync. I don't want to do that because I won't be using the, the car again, but you will. As you can see there, it's connected and it's showing the proper screen on there and it's showing connected on here. Now, now once you've paired your phone, another thing you can do is if you go to your iTunes and uh, you see there, red triangle with kind of three red circles, if you click there, You'll see Vauxhall is uh, highlighted or there's a tick next to it. If it's not for any reason, just touch it, make sure the tick's there, go back to your tunes, click play. Now, if you go to home, go to audio, you see there it's playing smooth FM, but source button up here, you've got AM, FM, DAB and Bluetooth at the bottom. Click on Bluetooth and it's playing the doors come on baby light my fire I'll just turn it up so you know it definitely is so that's it that's how to uh, stream audio uh, that's about it for this car